Three innocent people who had absolutely nothing to do with illegal street racing were killed. Why? Because they just happened to turn on to a street in Burbank at the wrong time. We've learned now that one of those kills just before midnight last night was the son of a local comedian, Tony Baker. NBC4's Beverly White has been talking with the family and is at the crash site tonight in Burbank. Beverly? That's right, Chuck. Mourners are gathered here at Glen Oaks in Andover, where about 24 hours ago, three cars collided and three people were killed. The family of Serene Baker is struggling with the loss of their bright light. The 21-year-old musician and former Burbank football player killed by what police say was someone else's reckless driving. It feels like it's not real, but, you know, we get waves of grief extreme sadness to where, you know, it's, you know, we just, we just sob uncontrollably. And then, you know, we're back to like regular conversation. And Police say street racers in a Kia and a Mercedes struck the Volkswagen in which Baker was riding with friends. Also killed was Baker's best friend, 20-year-old music producer Jaden Johnson of Burbank, and their friend, 19-year-old Natalie Mugadam of Calabasas. For Serene Baker's loved ones, life won't be the same. It's just a guy that everybody loved. Like, he's so likable. And like, and you know, I went to school with him since I'm only a year younger. He was just a beautiful soul, beautiful, beautiful soul. Anyone that met him could tell you, you know, we called him the mayor of Burbank mm -hmm. growing up. As friends grieve the deaths, Jaden Johnson's mother launched this GoFundMe in his memory. We've not heard back from Natalie Mogadam's family. Serene Baker's family hopes everyone takes a lesson. We want people to stop racing on the streets. That's right. You know, they were hit by a car. They were hit by cars that were racing on, you know, residential streets. If you want to race, go to the track. Investigators questioned survivors but have made no arrests. They say cameras prove the Kia and Mercedes were racing in this 35-mile-per-hour zone. Reporting live in Burbank, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.